Back to marketing lessons in the car. Got Aubrey today. Say hi. Hi. All right. Today is all about CTA. What is a T? What is a CTA? Why you need one? How to get one set up and implement? as well as common mistakes I see. So CTA just stands for call to action. And although it may seem like it is a simple common thing, it's a lot of mistakes that I see because people aren't really leveraging it or honestly using it at all. So a CTA is a call to action and it needs to be used in every piece of marketing collateral that you use, specifically your website. And it is the main action that you want your customers or potential customers to take when they visit or see that piece of marketing collateral. Now, I am a big believer that you need to have a CTA in everything that you do. However, my disclaimer with that, your CTA should not always be buy my thing or give me money. A CTA or a call to action can look like a lot of different things. So for social content, a CTA could look like, like this post, comment below, share, subscribe, um, tag your friends. It could be a lot of different things, but we give them a very specific action that we want them to take once they've engaged with their, this marketing collateral. Another way how it could be is obviously on your website. It could be um, schedule your call, book your appointment, uh, book an assessment, buy now, shop now. It's, it's a clear, direct action that we want them to take. So <clears throat> that's what it is. That It's just a, a marketing lingo term that, that gets tossed around a lot. And I was talking with somebody today and they said, what's this CTA people keep talking about? CTA is call to action. That's what it is. And you need it in every single one of your posts. Why you need it is because if you are not clear and direct and consistent about what you want your customers or potential customers to do, you leave it all up to chance. Don't just assume that people know exactly what you want them to do. Obviously, if you're a business owner, you want them to buy your thing that you sell. But if we do not call as being their guides, if we do not call our potential customers to action, most of the time they never will. Um, think about that. Just I, I come from the fitness world, and so very few people uh, just wake up one day and they say, "Today I'm actually going to get fit." Do they, Aubrey? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they don't say that. No. They need to be called and inspired to action. If you cut, if you do not call your customers to action, most likely they will not take action. So that's why you need to do it. So this is how I want you guys to set this thing up. I want you in every single piece of marketing collateral that you do to have a clear, consistent, and direct call to action. Some of the big mistakes I see with calls to action are missing one or all three of those elements. So one, your call to action must be clear. Do not be vague. Do not say things like, um, click here to discover more or click here to get more information. Don't do that. Be very clear about what the action is. A lot of times people are afraid of uh, being bold and direct with it because like, oh, I don't want to seem too salesy or too pushy. Um, I'll tell you this. If you are not clear and direct, your customers are going to go find the people that are clear and direct and they're going to go buy from them. So be very clear and direct about what action you want them to take. Don't be vague, cute, and clever. We want to be bold. We want to have confidence in the service that you are providing or the product that you're selling because if it's not, if you are not confident in it, that comes across in things like your calls to action. And again, if you're not confident in your products, most likely your your uh, competitors uh, are, and they're going to get that person as a customer. The other thing that you need with your call to action, it's got to be clear. It's got to be direct. There was just almost a wreck in front of me. People are crazy. Uh, it's got to be clear. It's got to be direct. And the third thing is, is it has to be consistent. Now, I told you there's a lot of different calls to action on marketing collateral. That is true. What I mean by being consistent, <clears throat> two different things. One, on your website, and two, consistent on what action they need to take to do business with you. So you could have multiple calls to action, like I said, and you need to have at least one in every piece of marketing collateral. It could be on social content, subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff. But the main call to action that you want customers to take to start or do business with you, whether it be get a free try, start 
uh, get your seven day free trial, uh, book your, uh, schedule your assessment, schedule your consultation call, buy now, whatever that main, uh, call to action is that needs to be clear, direct and consistent across everything. So you don't want to sometimes tell customers to uh, book an assessment. And the next time you don't want to tell them to start a free trial session. And then the next time you don't want them to say, um, book your discovery call. We want that to be clear and consistent. The other thing that we want is on your website. You want that call to action to be clear and consistent and direct on every single part of your website. A big, big mistake I see people make with their calls to action, especially on their website, is they they might have the same end result that they're trying to send people to, a booking, a scheduling page, a purchase page, a checkout page, something like that, but they use different language on every single one of their buttons. And so a customer, they're scrolling through the page, well, which one do I want to do? I want to buy now. Do I want to get started? Do I want to transform my life? Like uh, people have all these different calls to actions and stuff like that. Be clear, be direct, be consistent across the entire website. So the customer knows exactly what action we want or they need to take to get the problem solved from the product or service that we sell. The one caveat to that, and this is my, uh, out I give people, I will allow two calls to action on your website because there's two different types of calls to action. A big, a big believer in that a website should do two things. It should either make you money or collect leads. So on our website, our main call to action is our direct call to action. That's the main thing that we want our customers to do in order to start business with us. However, not every customer is ready the very first time that they see your product service page, all that good stuff to do business with you. So we give them something that's called a transitional call to action. For those customers that aren't 100% ready to go all in and start working with us, we give them a transitional call to action. Now, that still has to fall in the same categories. It's got to be clear. It's got to be direct and it's got to be consistent. But a transi transitional call to action is what we would use for a lead generator. So maybe they're not ready to book a call or buy now, but maybe they're ready to enter their email address in for your free guide. Um, and so it's the same thing. Uh, clear, direct, and consistent. So you don't want to say, join my newsletter, then further on down, say, Got, download my free guide, and then say, uh, enter your email address here to get a free e-course. Be consistent, be clear, and be direct with whatever you want them to do with that transitional call to action. So that's kind of the, the two different types that we have. We've got a direct call to action, which is the main thing that we want customers to do. And then we also have that transitional call to action for those who are not ready to purchase. Remember, we need calls to action on every single piece of marketing collateral we have even if it's just on social content, yes, we want people to buy from social. We want them to get our lead generator for social, but we also want them to share, subscribe, like, comment, tag friends, all of that good stuff that they do. Put it in everything that you do because if we do not call our customers to action, most likely they will choose and opt to do nothing. There's two different types of calls to action that we have. We have a direct, which is buy my thing, and we have a transitional, which is here's something free of service. Here's a lead generator, a some type of course, ebook, something like that that we give away in exchange for value so we can then follow up with them in the future. You got to do this stuff, guys, and I see all these common mistakes made all the time, but that's where... You guys are going to fix that so you can clean up your marketing so you can start dominating your industry. Hope this added tons of value, guys. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Help you. Love you. Have an awesome day.